Now we'll talk about food or nutrition and air and how those impact microbial growth in food. A reminder of the six important factors impacting microbial growth in food. Again, this lecture will focus on oxygen or air and food or nutrients. All microorganisms need nutrients in order to grow. Food provides a wide variety of different compounds and elements that microorganisms can utilize for their own metabolism. Basically, any food will be able to provide the appropriate nutrition for microorganisms to grow. Therefore, it is important that we control the other factors that affect microbial growth in foods. Another important factor that contributes to microbial growth in food is oxygen. The air we breathe is approximately 21% oxygen. Some microorganisms require oxygen to grow, such as yeast and mold, for example. Also, many types of bacteria also require oxygen to grow. Microorganisms that require oxygen to grow are called aerobic organisms. Aerobic organisms can grow in most foods because they are exposed to air. There are also types of bacteria to which oxygen is toxic. We call these microorganisms anaerobic. They can only grow in foods when oxygen is absent. This is relevant to canned foods because during the canning process, we are driving oxygen out of the jar. This is good because it removes the oxygen which many spoilage microorganisms need to grow. However, it provides the ideal environment for anaerobic bacteria to grow. Clostridium botulinum, the bacteria that produces the toxin leading to the disease botulism, is an anaerobic bacteria that can grow in canned food if we do not implement proper controls. To be thorough, there is also bacteria called facultative anaerobes. They can grow in the presence of oxygen or in an oxygen-free environment. Escherichia coli or E. coli is an example of a facultative anaerobe.